so this is your first time on the show. I don't know if you uh, if they told you, but there's a tradition that we have when it's your first time on the show. We have to show shirtless pictures. So, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's 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 kind of a, a tradition that we have. So there's one. <laughs> we may have more. I don't know. We just need to show you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's what we have to do. All right, there we go. <laughs> Seen that one. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen that one? No. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being here. I'm such a big fan of yours. Oh, uh, thanks so much. My I, mom said to say hi. Uh, hi to your mom. <laughs> hi to her. Um, so explain because a lot of people know NASCAR, but but people don't because Formula One is like it's a whole different thing. Explain the difference. Yeah, Formula One is is the pinnacle of motorsport. So um, for racing drivers, even NASCAR drivers, Formula One is the is the highest tier you can go to. Um, NASCAR is, is great and its race is on more of an oval circuit is where we have a kind of windy infield circuit so and the cars are um, as you can see they're kind of very high-tech a lot faster than a NASCAR so how fast uh, and and do you pull over and do the wheels in the same kind of thing we do stops yeah so the pit stops uh -huh. there used to be uh, fuel and tires is where now they're just tires why so, don't you do fuel uh, they just changed the rules. Mm -hmm. So basically when we stop, it's kind of crazy. There's 22 people that are in this, uh, of my crew. And I pull in and the car goes up and down in two, two seconds. Four wheels off, four wheels on in two seconds. So it's... That's impossible. No, it's... it's <laughs> no, if you watch NASCAR, they obviously do every bolt themselves. But we have one bolt and it's quick on and off, so... Man, oh man. So, and someone like taps the hood or something and you can go? Have you ever started to go and they haven't finished? It's, it's literally, there's a real science to it. So, you know, it, every, you know stopping on the right point is very important. There's, a, there's traffic, basic traffic lights in front of you. So once, once all the wheels are on, yeah. um, all the, the guys that are doing the gun, they press a button yeah. and it indicates that I can go. But it must feel like forever for you when you're sitting there. No, you, it doesn't. Honestly. No? It, you literally, as soon as you stop and you pull the clutch, go up, you're back down and you're going. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's not very... So how fast are you going? So Formula One cars, they, um, w they do over 200 miles an hour. So they're a bit like a, a NASCAR, but the thing is with a NASCAR being a road car, it uh, doesn't go around corners very well. As where with a Formula One car, it bas it's basically like a, a plane upside down. We have these wings. And so the faster you go, normally in the plane, obviously you get lift. Um, it, it's like a plane upside down. So the faster you go, the more it forces the car into the ground. So you want to go fast. Or? Yeah. Yes. The more efficient they make the... You know the aerodynamics. The and how much does a car like that cost? Um, like if I wanted to buy one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, well, everything's built in the house. We have there's 1,300 people in my team uh, to build two cars uh, for the year. You drive two? Just you? you it's just, me and my teammate. So you drive two cars? Uh, so I, I generally have one car. Uh, the same car all the time. Yeah, I mean they rotate. They rotate the parts. Always come in new parts. Yeah. But um, and then the budget for a team is pretty much the same. There's a whole budget for the whole of NASCAR. It's like 300 million a year for a team. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's super high tech. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's a lot of money for your team. Yeah. It's, it's, so there's obviously there's there's some teams that that have more money than others. Yeah. Um, the most successful ones like Ferrari and Mercedes, and then then they you know they have less money and they do worse basically. And what is yours? Mercedes. Mercedes. Wow. So. Um, That's amazing. And people don't know this, but you have to be really fit. I mean, as we saw these shirtless photos, you have to be really fit to drive. You would think that you're just driving, because you know exactly. I've seen big rig drivers and they get out and then they're not. Like, you know, <laughs> they're driving for long, long hours. Those guys. Exactly. But <laughs> you don't see stomachs like that on them. Uh, so. So what, uh, do you work out in addition to, to be in shape for that, or does that keep you in shape? No, I mean, it does keep you in shape, but it, you do have to train for it. Yeah, most people, particularly when I introduce it to people here in America, they're like, yeah, but you just sit there and drive. But um, it's very physical. Basically, um, you're, the race is around two hours, and we pull a lot of What if you have to pee? Two hours? What if you have to pee? Uh, you're supposed to go in your suit, but I can't do it. Uh, I've never done it, but there are drivers that do. Well, I'm glad you don't. No, I, I don't. Yeah, me too. I just don't get it. Yeah. The no. driver that used to drive for the team uh, was Michael Schumacher. I don't know if anyone's heard of him, but legend racing driver. And my, my mechanics tell me he peed every single time he was in the car. Um, From that's... excitement or? or... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, you, so with the physicality side of it, it's um, you pull this G-force, which is uh, through the corners, you, it's like a fighter jet, basically. And you pull six times your body weight. So holding your, you know, it's all about core stability. And also you have to keep your weight low. Um, weight is everything. So my target, I have to be 148, 150 pounds. 
so I can't be big and bulky. So, so like a jockey on a, on a exactly. horse, you have to, why do you have to keep, like what happens if you gain a couple of pounds? Because if you look at the car, everything's about center of gravity, so they want to get the weight as low as possible, and you're weighed with the car, so um, there's a weight limit and you want to be as close to it. If you're over it, like if you're 2.2 pounds overweight, over two hours or an hour and a half, around 45 minutes, you can lose three seconds in the race. Wow. And we, we, you know, we qualify and we, um, you know, the difference between some cars is a tenth of a second. So if you're losing three seconds, that's a lot of time to give up. So that's wow. why I have to train. I do a lot of running and mostly cardio. That's amazing. That's really interesting. And then I heard you had to hold your head a certain way too, or else because if your head is... Yeah, so, but yeah, so the neck is... Yeah, you struggle with your neck through the race. Because you're going so fast that your head would go back? Or no, going back. We, so you know, or fighter down. pilots have vertical G. Uh -huh. We have longitudinal. So when you break from 200 miles an hour, the G force, you pull six Gs. It's like six times the weight of your head. So you have to hold that up per, you know, every, every breaking zone. And then when you go through the corners, you pull the G force. Your head basically wants to do this if you go through a corner. But you can't. You've got to no, like, you be gotta, like yeah, that. No, you've got to, yeah. If you go like that, you, you miss the corner. <laughs> so, so it doesn't sound relaxing at all. It sounds like a... It, it's, <laughs> I don't know why you do it. It's um, <laughs> that's crazy. And you are, uh, you are quite uh, the ladies' man. I, I mean, that's... Your reputation yeah. is, is, you know, you've been with... Well, I think you know who you've been with. You've been with Rihanna. Oh, really? Yes, you have. Oh. And, <laughs> and Kendall Jenner and, and uh, oh, really? lots of people, yes. Uh, you're single now, or, or are you gonna? You're, you won't be honest with me. <laughs> um, who am I kidding? Are you with somebody now? I'm not. I'm not. You're uh, not. I was in a long relationship. Mm -hmm. I was in a, almost an eight-year relationship, and uh, no, now I'm literally solely focused on on my race and trying to win this championship this year, which is is uh, is definitely very trying. But um, no, I don't really have any plans at the moment. Yeah. Well, <laughs> unless something comes up. <laughs> um, so, and the, your race is it this weekend? You're racing in Austin. Uh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm that, leaving tomorrow morning. That's exciting. So I, th well, this is the most exciting thing for the whole year. When I heard that I could come here and see you, I was like... Yeah. Oh. Thank you. I mean... I, I think you're... Fa I met you once really briefly in New York, New York at the yeah. party, and uh, but I, my brother-in-law was there, and he doesn't know any... He, uh, and doesn't care about show business at all, but when he saw you, he's like... Lewis Hamilton is here. What is, what is Lewis Hamilton? <laughs> he was flipping out, so no he's going to be excited to see that you were on the show. But yeah. I'm, I just think you're fantastic, and, oh, and it's it so interesting when you learn about what it takes to, to race like that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Great guy. Um, Lewis was going to race uh, this weekend at Austin Grand Prix on NBC. For more information, go to our website. We'll be back.